<laughs> Action! All right. All right. Here we are. So I think we're at T minus 18 days, Mike. Oh my gosh, 18 days? That's all we have left? That's it. All right, here, That's let me... Uh, That's scary. It is scary. <laughs> it is scary. It's coming up quick. So we have a special guest with us today. Actually, one, one of up. our keynoters, Joe yeah. Dalfiori. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. 18 days. Have you even started to think about your keynote? Definitely. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> no, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> we know how this goes. Please. No, seriously. <laughs> Welcome. This is going to be your second appearance at Mix, yep. which is very exciting. So one question that we actually answer a lot from customers mm -hmm. is, what's all this phone stuff doing at Mix? We thought that th this was the web conference. Well, you know, these things are blending. I mean, you mm. think about the web, people use it on the PC. Well, now they use it on their phones a ton. Yep. And the model that people, you know, are using to get data from the web on their phones is in large part apps. And we figure Mix is a great place to contact and, and communicate with all those developers that are building great stuff on the web, mm -hmm. help get it to the phone, whether mm -hmm. you do it in rich apps using Silverlight, which is a web technology, mm -hmm. or you build great websites for the phone. So it seems incredibly relevant to us. And it seems like yeah. a lot of the top sites that we traditionally would think about have apps now, right? To, to your point, I mean, most of the most of them have been classically building these sites now have to build apps yep. and have to show up in the marketplace to have to have that presence. Yep. So makes complete sense. So you've had kind of a busy year. <laughs> <laughs> have to put it well, busy, <laughs> busy two to put it <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's been going on since we last saw you? It's been a year since the last mix. Yeah. A lot. Uh, you know, obviously we finished Windows Phone 7, got it out there. Uh, you know, that was a big, huge launch for mm -hmm, us. Mm -hmm. Lots of phones around the world, lots of um, learnings for us on how to get phones in stores, working mm -hmm. with mobile operators, get all the retail set right, start to get the messaging and TV commercials done. Mm -hmm. You know, some stuff that we learned that we had to improve. Things have gotten a lot better there. And then getting updates out. Mm -hmm. um, we've, we, we know that a lot of people have wondered about our updates, and I know some people feel like it's taken a long time. <laughs> Although, from our point of view, you know, in the U.S., phones have only been available for about four months. Yeah, that's right. Um, you have to kind of keep things in perspective. Yeah, so, yeah. so we've, um, we've launched, we've actually done two updates that are live. There was a February mm -hmm. update that sort of prepared phones for updates. Oh, this was the update of the updater. It, it <laughs> yeah, sort yeah. of was. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. We, we um, learned a lot about the way the OEMs had configured their phones. Mm. And in doing update testing for this Noto update, yep. which mm -hmm. adds copy and paste and a bunch of other features, um, we found some situations where um, we hadn't anticipated the way the OEM phones would be configured, mm. so we wanted to get fixes mm. in the channel before people went and did Noto. So the February update is on most phones now. The March update, which is Noto, started rolling out yesterday, right. actually, just a few days, well, depending on when you see this, right. a few <laughs> days ago. Um, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to throttle it so that it goes to a limited number of phones first, mm -hmm. so we can make sure that the update is working really well right. and that people are going to have a smooth experience. And Before the you scale to the world. Exactly. The, yeah. phase, the phase we're in right now is the early part of that throttling. So uh, y all of you out there will see the update depending on whether you are randomly one of the early throttled people and depending on your mobile operator and where they're at in their testing phase for the update. Got it. So, so uh, acro across all these devices, it's got to be a challenge, right? To all these different manufacturers, OEMs, device yeah. types, global market, oh, yeah. worldwide. Um, it, it just seems to me like a rollout on a scale like this has to be an absolute challenge. Well, I, I'm actually I'm glad you bring that up because there's an interesting thing about the way we do it that on the one hand makes it a little tougher for us, but on the other hand, in theory, makes it a lot better for all our end users, mm -hmm. which is that um, we develop and deploy the updates instead of all the OEMs doing it separately. Right. Interesting. So if you look at Android, for example, if you buy an Android phone from, from one handset vendor, it's up to that handset vendor to build the updates for your phone. And that means that they're all in different situations with how much priority and focus they'll put on older phones. Mm -hmm. But with Windows Phone, we build the updates generally for all the phones. And the, 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 we work with our OEMs to make sure that the quality will work, and we do testing on current phones. And then the, the additional step is to work with the mobile operators who want to test all updates before they go out on their networks. So what some of you will experience is some variation in the timing that you'll get the updates mm -hmm. based on your mobile operator, because the mobile operators all have different sort of levels of rigorousness mm -hmm. in their test suites. There's and a method to the madness. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not random. Exactly. But at exactly. the end of the day, it sounds like it's a very, just a very consistent platform across all of these different manufacturers. Yeah, exactly. So, so our intent is if you buy a Windows phone, you're going to get updates from Microsoft. And there might be some time variation. Mm -hmm. 
on how quickly you get them based on your mobile operator's right. testing procedures. Mm -hmm. But they're all moving forward, and we expect to have them all out there in a matter of time, depending on the specifics. And when we think about the mixed audience, right, everybody who's kind of building these apps, um, having that consistent, reliable, single platform just from a, you know, if I think of it from a developer perspective, sounds fantastic. Yeah. I can build for kind of one That's part set of, the of APIs That's right. that That's I right. know Microsoft has tested along with these OEMs. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's that's good to hear. By the way, where does Nodo? What does that mean? Does it have a? <laughs> uh oh, maybe it I means no. It's that okay. <laughs> it means it means no donuts. Oh, no. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Which some people have thought is a reference to Google and their code names, but it's not. We had a meeting. I thought ours were geography, cities, well, we, and we were ours ours bringing the whole. Our, our, in Windows Phone, they end in O. Oh, because I've heard something about Mango. Yes, Mango. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we use code names internally for the stuff we're working on, and Mango mm -hmm. is our code name for the the significant update release that I we'll see. have available more towards the end of this year. Mm -hmm. We showed some of those features. I imagine many of you saw this. We showed many of those features at Mobile World Congress. So we're going to have third-party app multitasking, support for Twitter, um, IE9 with full HTML5 support, hardware accelerated, and there are a bunch of other features <laughs> that we have not talked about yet that we'll talk Maybe about Maybe people later. should go to Mix. That'll be one place to hear more about them. Yes, for sure. Absolutely. So in this last year, it's been just crazy busy, all these learnings. Are you feeling um, really bullish now? Um, you know, the, the, the best thing is that people love the phones. Mm. And having spent about two years trying to do the reset of Windows Phone and, and create an experience, our main goal was to create an experience that people would love. End users love the phone. Our customer satisfaction numbers are great. I can't tell you how many emails I get from people saying, wow, I had no idea that you guys were doing this. This is a terrific experience. I really like it. So from our perspective, that was job number one. And I think, I think our, the feedback has been very good. Mm -hmm. um, now there's a whole bunch of work to figure about, out how to get that experience into lots of countries, mm -hmm. at more price points, learn how to do a good job at retail so everyone understands what the phone is about, continue working with developers to get more and more apps in the marketplace. We just passed 10,000 apps in the marketplace. Congratulations. So our, our wow. app rate is very quick. Um, and I'm sure we'll talk more about that at Mix. So, so far, so good. That's great. Excellent. And I, I think I screwed up on our timer, by the way. So Michael might have to give us a little hint here. It's digital, for God's sake. Everyone wants a digital timer to work. So, so but I want to know is, um, so your day job, like what do you do now? Now that Good the phone's question. been out for a year, is it your job to go out and kind of like evangelize? What do you do? Not really. I, my, my, the team that I run is the team that does all the spec and design. Mm -hmm. So our job is to determine the feature set for future releases. Mm -hmm. And so uh, this Mango update that we're working on is really what most of the people in my team are working on right now. But we actually split our work, and we do some work on the, the next release, and then mm -hmm. we do some work on the release after that. Mm -hmm. So we're already planning what's going to happen in 2012. Wow. Um, so there's another code name out there that ends in O, isn't there? There is. There? Yeah, yeah. Top secret. I'm not saying. Can't reveal that one. I see. So you're, you're sequestered. <laughs> you don't get out much, huh? Well, I, I actually do get out, although it's not my main job. I think because my team and I are focused on trying to figure out what the phone will do and mm -hmm. what it'll be for, mm -hmm. um, it's useful for me to talk to people because, you know, in a way I have the best advanced view of what's coming. Mm -hmm. So it's that sort of a secondary thing I end up doing. I see. But I, it's you know the other thing is it's really valuable for me and for my team to get feedback from people whether you're an end user, a developer, a handset vendor building a phone, mobile operator doesn't matter. We want to know what are we doing right, what are we doing wrong, what do mm -hmm. we need to improve. Right. So mm -hmm. we value hearing that. And the Nokia excitement was or announcement was really exciting. They're yeah, actually they're going to be they're going to be big at one. Mix. They're going to be demoing. Yep. So that's cool and new. The the, the Nokia is uh, mm -hmm. definitely a big deal for us. They not only are a big handset vendor that sells lots of phones, mm -hmm. but they also have a lot of expertise that's really complementary to ours. They know lots of different worldwide markets. Mm -hmm. um, and they have a lot of expertise there that, frankly, we don't have yet. Um, they know how to sell at retail, which is something that well, was a little bit rough for us early on. Mm -hmm. So uh, they've been a great addition to all of our partners. We have some terrific partners. Okay. You know, Samsung's been terrific. HTC's been terrific. Mm -hmm. LG's mm -hmm. been terrific. Dell. All these folks have done a great job. But it's terrific as well to add Nokia to the fold, for sure. Yeah, totally agree. So the, the, I have to say that, you know, Playing with Windows Phone 7 and just the, the responsiveness of the UI, the, the, the touch screen, how well it works. I have the Samsung Focus. Love it. 
Um, I'm wondering, you know, you use this thing all the time. You talk to developers. You know, you probably have a favorite list of apps that you have on your phone, right? <laughs> Either favorite apps from a user perspective or maybe from what developers have been well, able to pull off on the I device? I mean, definitely, definitely. I would say I'm probably not that different than most users. In uh -huh. fact, I try to keep myself normal yeah. so I can you know, relate to what regular people are doing. Yep. And uh, I'm probably mostly using Foursquare. I use Facebook occasionally, but not that much because mm -hmm. we have so much built in. <laughs> uh, and uh, there's That's some it. really cool... <laughs>